Welcome back everybody. Welcome back to Jumbai's Kitchen. Alright, uh, let me start off by saying we're going to have a fun time with a nice dish today. And of course that dish will be, well, let me see, should we do curry, stewed, or change the pace around? How about some blackened masala chicken? This is a dish will go nice with dal, my creation. I want you to enjoy it. Look good and see what I'm putting in. And when you make it my way, you will enjoy it. So we're going to do blackened chicken today. And I will kick it up a notch with my secret recipes, my creation. I did this serve a lot of people and they enjoyed it. All right, so I want you to join me this now and let's get cooking with Jim Boy's Kitchen until the next scenery or so. So, Jim Boy's Kitchen, blackened masala chicken. All right, let's go. Come on, baby. Come on, everybody. <laughs> are you ready? Yeah, here we are. Jim Boy's Kitchen, tell you so. Well, today, um, as I said earlier, welcome back to Jim Boy's Kitchen. Let's get cooking with this uh, nice dish. Uh, today I'm going to make a, a delicious masala blackened chicken for you. My creation also, I fed a lot of people, made it for a lot of people and they loved it. Do you know what this is? I moved it. It's not magic. Kind of a look like magic, huh? And uh, it's in trouble. This is in trouble because you see what's there, blade. Uh, that's my bought by Jim Boy's chopper and I move it closer. That means it go chop, 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 chop. <laughs> And with that dish, we're going to add some onion. I'm going to use the whole onion and maybe about a couple of cloves of this wonderful bad boy garlic here. That's all we need. Nothing fancy until I put the ingredients. And of course, the star of the show is none other than chicken. Fully washed up. Uh, now I'm going to get it cut up into pieces, bite-sized pieces, and show you the next step. I'm going to cut up all the ingredients. And get everything ready, all right? Cut, 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 cut. Just keep cutting. Cut, cut, cut. Don't have to be a superstar. Don't have to cut in style. Cut in many ways you can. And of course, this will be all in one pot cooking up, all right? Got me the onion and celery all in this bowl here. Next is the garlic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, got the onion, the celery, and the garlic chipped up. Now we're going to put this bad boy aside. Time for the chicken. All right, folks, in the meantime, now I got the chicken all cut up nicely. Now, these are the ingredients. Now, you don't have to be a specialist to have these ingredients. This is not a millionaire ingredients, all right? Any one of you could afford these. These are, you could pick them up for 99 cents in your local uh, store, supermarket, if not uh, cheaper, all right? These are the little bottles here. You could pick it up, uh, hey, cost maybe less than what, 10 bucks? <laughs> So I'm going to uh, mix all these ingredients, I'm going to name them so you're going to follow, listen to every um, ingredients. Okay, I'm going to run it down for you. I got garlic powder, I got some bad boy black pepper, I got me some mustard powder, alright. Uh, we're going to use some cayenne pepper for this dish, we're going to use some paprika, anything that I pull from the shelf, alright. Uh, you do the same, sesame seed. I got a little bit of bad boy basil, a little bit of, uh, oh man, soy sauce, that will kick it up a notch. Of course, we're making blackened uh, masala chicken, uh, delicious for dal, you know. <laughs> some chili powder, some onion powder, we got some white pepper here, and we're going to add a little Worcestershire sauce, and of course, uh, the bad boy masala, the star of the show, of the ingredients, of course, and some bad boy ketchup to give it a sweet and sour texture. That's all about it, so I will put all the ingredients in this bowl here, and I'll show you. You don't have to measure, just uh, maybe a teaspoonful is good. <laughs> all right, uh, let's uh, start putting in the, all these beautiful ingredients in this bowl here. This is what's gonna make our dish so special. Uh, add a teaspoonful of black pepper, how about that, nicely. 
All right, uh, uh, teaspoon, teaspoon, Jim Boy's teaspoon. <laughs> Got some black pepper in that bad boy there. Now with the black pepper, we're gonna add the same amount of uh, garlic powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder. Now, we our intention is to mix this all together, so it's not a big deal. You can put it on top of each other, looking like a rainbow also there, huh? kind of a rainbow, rainbow. <laughs> Jim Boy's Kitchen. Now we're going to add some white pepper inside. Remember, you don't have to be a millionaire to get these ingredients. You can find them in your local supermarket. And, all right, so, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You don't have to be a specialist in it, all right, or a scientist. Um, some paprika. I'm going to throw in some paprika here. Uh, give it up a two teaspoon also. Paprika that will give it that nice little uh, reddish flavor there. Um, then we're going to uh, spice it up a little bit, not too much, uh, with some uh, paprika. No, some cayenne pepper. How about that? One, two. Oh man, this dish would be so delightful. Uh, you know, you could eat this with dal. Best goes with dal. Will be so delicious, folks. So delicious, I'm telling you. Okay, we got the paprika. We got, uh, all right. We, how about some yellow mustard? Did we put a yellow mustard yet? Uh, we're going to just put a little bit. Let me see. Uh, just a little bit of yellow mustard, folks. Open that bad boy bottle there. Uh, a little bit. Oh, man. Yellow mustard, this is what will kick it up a notch there. And remember, uh, you don't have to be um, scientists once again, I'll say this, because everything will combine together. With that, now we're going to put some basil inside this bowl. Bowl start looking pretty, huh? <laughs> little bit of basil. Well, the basil, you want to amount it to one teaspoon, not a big deal, because these are bigger chunks, actually. And with that, now, I'm going to drop some sesame seeds inside. Uh, one, uh, kick it up a notch, two, <laughs> two sesame street seeds, and also now, with that, we're going to add some chili powder, give it that spicy, we still, and remember, chili powder is just a normal uh, process, uh, you know, spicy, uh, normal spices, not like a, um, one of those uh, balafire or something, onion powder, we're going to kick it up a notch here, Another little ingredients there for you, some onion powder. Oh man, this is a beautiful dish already. It looks like you could eat this bowl, huh? <laughs> and of course, we got the liquidy soy sauce, uh, wish to share. And of course, this is what we're gonna add after in the pot. Uh, the liquid, the liquid substance ingredients we will add in the pot, all right? For example, the soy sauce, the wish to share sauce, the ketchup. And uh, here we're going to add a little bit of bad boy masala. Of course, this is the star of the show. All right. Uh, put some masala there. Masala there. I want to give it uh, um, that uh, beautiful texture. Now, remember, we are making blackened chicken. And, of course, blackened chicken comes with none other than tomato paste or tomato sauce also. All right, so we're going to add that. That's going to be wet ingredients that goes into the pot, all right? Stay tuned. All right. Uh, all the ingredients I show you is right in this bowl. Looks like you want to eat this bowl already, huh? <laughs> You're going to mix everything up slowly but surely. Now, this is what I'm going to show you something here. With the blackened chicken, uh, yeah, what do you do, you think? Uh, what's in your mind that I will kind of season the chicken before I put it in the pot, right? Uh, well, this is what I'm going to do. Not really, not technically, not scientifically, <laughs> but I will divide a little bit of this uh, season and put it into the chicken just to kind of a stir fry the chicken. When it becomes tender, then all the ingredients with the onion and the, the garlic and all of that good stuff will go into the pot to give it that beautiful blackened flavor and taste. All right, I'll show you the next step. All right, folks, how wonderful. 
looks like you could eat this chicken already. It's a raw chicken that already cut up uh, in, uh, um, it's uh, less than normal size of uh, chicken curry or stew chicken. We're making blackened chicken small and nice to the bite, all right? Now, with this, I'm going to add, uh, remember I told you, we're not going to use all the ingredients at this point. We're going to use a little bit because we want to steam fry this uh, chicken here now, all right? Uh, use uh, about, uh, uh, I would say 20%, let's use like 25% of this uh, uh, season, just to kick this bad boy a notch, all right? <laughs> just like so. We didn't put salt yet, remember? No salt as yet. Uh, uh, we're going to mix this bad boy chicken. Mix up this bad boy chicken here. Oh, look how delicious. If you had smell of vision, you would have smelled this bad boy right now. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> delicious make it my way my creation you will love this blackened chicken folks uh, of course you can find blackened chicken um, wherever you can in some restaurant but this is where I Jim Boy's Kitchen kicks up the dishes and knots to give it that exciting flavor so you could bite your finger at least <laughs> now we got a chicken in here and now we're gonna put it into this bad boy pan here I just want to show you right there there goes the walk magic huh looks like magic now we're gonna turn the heat heat up on high on this uh, bad boy uh, uh, walk here just gonna get the heat up nice now the fire is on high on a high I want to bring this walk up to a high heat then I'm gonna put this chicken actually not a big deal here we go dump the chicken right here use the word dump dump Dump. Can you see? Can you see? <laughs> I am kind of uh, stir frying this chicken now. Trying to burn out all the fat and the liquid from this chicken here. Oh, that's nice. You could eat this with doll when you're done. When I'm done with this. All right. I'm going to give you some through the screen. All right. <laughs> Meantime, if you look and see how I'm doing it, make it my way. You will love it. And remember, don't let the ingredients scare you. It looks like a lot of ingredients, but. Uh, if you're wise, go to your supermarket, you get them for 99 cents or less. Uh, the ingredients cost what? Less than 10 bucks? Garlic powder, maybe what? Uh, maybe three something. Uh, uh, black pepper, three something. And the rest of the stuff is less than a dollar. <laughs> That's another secret from Jim Boy's Kitchen. All right, we're going to let this bad boy steam down and kind of come to a stir fry with its own fat and oil. All right, its own fat uh, and uh, the water will come out of it and we'll dissolve all that liquid then we're gonna start the cooking process very healthy all right we're gonna cover this bad boy let us do its thing and give it a 10 minutes now look very carefully folks the water you see it's dissolving the water but this is now we're gonna dissolve this water and bring it down uh, burn out all the fat and everything from this wonderful healthy chicken blackened chicken make it my way oh my gosh if you had smell of vision at this point you will smell what's going on here so we're gonna cover it down for 10 minutes uh, let us do his thing all right uh, it's been about five minutes with the cover look at this bad boy chicken coming up smelling greatly steaming down to a frying process in the meantime the meat is getting tender and as we're gonna stir this guy to send a big shout out to uh, the man Isa, his wife Glory, and of course the son Jeremy, and they are the other rest of the home circle, the son in Tertola too, you know, <laughs> of course, and the rest of the home circle there. Well, wish you guys the best. Also, we've got to say, hey, oh, that's uh, Isa and Glory, and the home circle in Richmond Hill, Queens, Ozone Park. Got to send a big shout out to, to Vic and Darlene in Georgia, Christine and the family, and also all of in Florida, Mr. Vincent and Miss Cleany, and of course the rest of the home circle. Brian Carr Rip here. Hey, what's happening, man? Delicious dish coming your way here. We got the chicken steaming down. Oh, man, not forgetting nobody, all right? Uh, Mr. Sonny and uh, uh, Miss Sunny there in, uh, um, hey, Corona, Queens. <laughs> and you know, with this chicken boiling, I must tell you, man, it's amazing and it's kind of a sad. Uh, and with the situation going on with the, hey, I'm not coming down on anyone, but it, I kind of dislike how the presidency is running right now. 
because you know everything has gone up. Gas, uh, you spend 20 bucks, you could barely get three gallon if you're lucky, or four gallon gas. <laughs> hey, that's amazing. That's crazy. Also, hey, um, uh, food stuff, uh, uh, pack of chicken. Hey, for example, this one. I tell you that because I experienced it. A pack of chicken that you were getting for like nine bucks uh, is almost fifteen, sixteen dollars. Uh, hey. Things are getting expensive, uh, something contrary is going on, and hey, let's hope for the best that the uh, government could open their eyes and ears uh, and see what's going on, and correct things as quickly as possible. Now we're going to steam this chicken down here. Jim Boy's Kitchen tell you so, you know. Hey, got a big up, hey, pasta of Moses again, and uh, don't forget 15, uh, that's uh, 1020. Uh, Chrysler Avenue there, that wonderful church. We're gonna get this chicken steaming down, cover this bad boy here. We're gonna bring it to a stir-fried atmosphere. Cover it down for another five minutes or so. Also a very special person, Miss Gita, uh, and the rest of the entire home circle there, somewhere in New York City, Miss Gita. And of course, uh, Philip and Kimberly and all of this wonderful family there as this chicken is boiling away. <laughs> now remember folks, I told you about steaming chicken. You see all this? This is what they call chicken bro broth. They pasteurize it and, and package it for sale. I cannot step into that uh, kind of a broth. All right? So what I do is take this bad boy chicken that's already steamed nicely and I'm going to show you the next step out of this uh, fat water and the rank water, whatever you want to call it. Put it in this bad boy bowl separately, all right? And then i show you the next step. Now, you see this? This is what I don't want in my in my chicken here, folks. All right, this is what I don't want. I'm going to throw this, this, uh, this place of this. I'm going to throw this away, come back with a nice uh, fried. Now, that's the delicious steam fried chicken right here, folks. We're going to stir now this is the steamed fried chicken, already 70% uh, ready to eat, you know, <laughs> but I'm going to still fry this, making it into a blackened chicken. Look at how I'm going to set up these ingredients, do it the same way, you can't go wrong. This looks delicious, a hungry man will start eating, alright? <laughs> All right, I got the wok coming up to a high heat. At this point, no measurement needed. Eh, put a little bit of corn oil. You could use vegetable oils. I boil it. Hey, I got me about three, eh, three tablespoon. Hey, come on, you could eyeball that bad boy. Now that is to stir fry everything in one. Now remember, I'm gonna put this chicken in that hot oil. With but first, what I'm gonna do is. Uh, I'm gonna blend some tomato sauce first in that oil so I could burn out the pasteurized system that the tomato sauce came with. That will give that uh, nice texture, right? Then I'm gonna put that chicken. You see what we're doing right now. Tomato sauce, tomato sauce. <laughs> you could actually use tomato paste also. Uh, this, I think this amount is perfect. Uh, all right, for that amount of chicken. Hey, there we go. We wanna kind of uh, bring up the flavor with this tomato sauce, all right? Into that uh, bad boy food. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. Uh, play around with it. Not a dee. Sing a song. Play around with it. Now you have to be careful. Don't, don't, don't burn. Don't burn the tomato sauce. All right. Just try not to burn it. At this point, this tomato sauce is pretty good. Now it's time to add the chicken. Look at this, folks. If you can see it. Add the chicken with all the little extra liquid that was in there because you want to still fry this up now. And do not cover it, all right? You don't want to cover it. Look at this. Oh man, you have smell of vision. You smell this baby right now. High heat and let us do its thing. Now we're going to let this come up to a nice stir fry. And then at this point, time to add every ingredient while the chicken is moist with some liquid there with the oil and everything, the tomato sauce. Time to add all the ingredients, including the bad boy sauce. And of course, we will add a little bit of tomato to kick it up a notch. Not tomato, actually, we're gonna add some potato to kick it up a notch. <laughs> Got you there. All right, look at the difference here, folks. All these ingredients now, we're gonna put together with this. Oh, 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 blackened chicken. You have smell of vision, you smell where Jim Boy's Kitchen is doing here. My creation, I want you to do it the same way, all right? 
Turn this bad boy up. Oh my. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now this, uh, you could eat this with dal. Something called yellow peas. You boil it together with some nice beautiful ingredients and it's delicious. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You could smell this. I know you could smell it from far. Uh, oh, careful, careful. Uh, uh, don't, don't bite your screen off. Don't bite the screen off. <laughs> All right, we're going to let this uh, come to a stir fry now. We're not going to cover it. We're going to stir fry this uh, a little bit, all right? Um, we, we're not going to cover it right away because now we're going to add all the liquid, what we were supposed to, the liquid ingredients, all right? I'm going to show you right now. All right, we got the soy sauce. This is all going to give it uh, the, uh, the, the, the this secret remedy of uh, blocking beautiful chicken. Yeah, give it a kick it up a notch. Yeah, a little bit more soy sauce. How about that? Then uh, we're going to add in uh, the bought by Worcestershire sauce. You don't want to add too much of this because this is a very strong uh, sauce. All right. Uh, you don't want it to take over the flavor of the blackened chicken. And with that, uh, and with that, hey, and I got to surprise you. You know, you could add a little bit more. You could play around with tomato sauce. How about that? Bang! <laughs> Alright. And now, we got the bad boy uh, ketchup. Now, the ketchup gives a sweet and sour texture. Here we go. You could use Heinz, uh, any flavor you want. But the ketchup is going to give it this bad boy flavor, right? And now, we're going to stir this up uh, with some salt and that's it. Let it do its thing. Alright folks, uh, now we're going to add a little bit of salt. Now it's time to add all your salt in. All the salt. As much as you want. Not as much, just for taste folks. Stir this bad boy up. Oh man, look at this. Delicious. Uh, you have dal and rice with this. Oh man. Guys, you're licking your finger already. Follow my recipe. Use the trick. Use my kick it up a notch, all right? When I say trick, it's a kick it up a notch. And of course, uh, I must tell you this, that you will lick your finger. Now we're going to add the potato inside, all right? All right, time for the potato. At this time, you're adding everything inside. Adding everything. Now, you know, you have a choice. You could actually add potato or not, but I love potato. Potato will give it a nice, delicious uh, flavor also. Now, folks, I must tell you, with the looks of the potato in this uh, blackened chicken here. Look at this, folks. Look at this. Uh, you got the masala and everything in there. Oh, uh, uh, smelling that wonderful blackened chicken with a nice black pepper and all of that. And look how the potato changed color. Ready to um, come down to a nice stir fry. Now, to help it out, we're going to have to bring this potato to a nice boil. We need a little bit of sirwa or gravy, or sauce. Many of you usually say that, right? Well, Jim Boy's Kitchen say, let's call it, hey, um, black and gravy. <laughs> so, at this point, we're going to stir fry everything down a little bit, let it go for five minutes, then we're going to add some boiling water that I have in the bad boy Jim Boy's kettle there. I'll throw some water and let it do its thing all the way, and then I'll show you the taste, folks. <laughs> All right, it's been about five minutes already into the cooking process. Let's see what this bad boy chicken doing. Oh, 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 uh, oh, uh, uh. Now it's time to uh, drop in all the ingredients, all the cut up ingredients. As we got the onion, the celery and the garlic. That's all we need right here. And of course, everything will kind of a steam, stir fried into this wonderful blackened chicken, folks. And uh, man, I don't want to even leave a part of this. Uh, 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 uh. This is the flavor here. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's just to the bone, to the pot, folks. Got to big up all you folks, all my subscribers, all the people that love this dish here and the other dishes and the sceneries. Of course, Jim Boy's Kitchen uh, can't get better than this. Could be better when you eat it too. <laughs> but uh, hey, 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 don't bite your screen, please. <laughs> All right, we're going to let this, uh, cover this down and let it do its thing. When the potato comes to uh, um, almost a finishing uh, tenderness, we're going to open that pot and let it stir fry, all right, with a little bit of gravy. I'll show you right now.
alright folks uh, let's see this now open the pot oh beautiful look at this it's been about uh, uh, let's say it's been about 12 minutes into the process ever since we put the potato in everything is coming to come smelling all delicious oh man don't forget your doll and rice too you know <laughs> all right and now um, my guest uh, of course uh, um, I'm making this for about uh, 20 people right now uh, as I will share this out to them and folks uh, I must tell you that they love it uh, they love Jim Boy's Kitchen the way I create these uh, dishes uh, so wonderfully with my ingredients follow my step you can do the same and I must tell you folks that uh, the ingredients you see I put in here as I named them to you it only costs 20 bucks uh, all right, you know, those small bottles of seasonings you could get for what uh, less than a dollar, uh, <laughs> and uh, the other ingredients, the onion. Once you buy them one time, you have them forever for about uh, 20 other dishes. How about that? So it's inexpensive, uh, all right, folks. I want to encourage you with that uh, so you could cook my way and enjoy a wonderful, tasty dish. The potato is still in the tough side, so at this point now. What I will do is add some uh, gravy now with some boiling water that I have here boiled up already. Um, and you don't want to use faucet water. Take my advice, folks. Uh, I do not believe in faucet water, all right? Uh, I'm making a nice, delicious. And now this is going to help it to boil the potato and bring everything in a combination together and of course uh, when I say in a combination together it will tighten all the seasoning into the potato and the chicken even more at this time it's even ready to it has a beautiful taste trust me but I will kind of bring it down to a kind of a, a stir fry atmosphere but I don't want it to be uh, dried I want it to have a little liquid gravy all right deliciously what do you think we should add some more let's add a little bit more because we want to eat this with dal and rice and for those that don't know what we call dal caribbean people knows what dal and rice is dal is yellow peas you could find for what a dollar something in the store open the packet soak it overnight if you wish and then you boil that bad boy with some nice uh, ingredients i'll show you how to make a delicious dal and chunky chunky too you know <laughs> oh man Okay, well, now this is enough gravy to bring it down to a medium heat. Uh, all right, turn it to medium, medium low, and uh, let it do its thing. Give it another 20 minutes. This me delicious meal will be ready. Jim Boy's Kitchen. And would you keep in mind, there's no curry in this, all right, folks? Uh, no curry. It's a kind of a stewed blackened chicken you will love. Uh, and with that, don't forget to join West Indian Vibrations on 1240 AM radio, locally in your car, your home stereo, or uh, you can stream worldwide at WPTR1240AM.com every Sunday morning at 9 o'clock. Uh, as well, uh, Jim Boy's Kitchen presents West Indian Vibrations, your radio program with music, entertainment, interviews, and much more. All right? Oh, man, let this bad boy cook down. And, of course, if you like this dish, folks, uh, remember to subscribe, press the notification bell for more uploads uh, instantly as I upload. And, of course, folks, uh, um, press the like button on all those wonderful things. Uh, as your name will be called and of course gift will be given away to you as we reach the first 1000 subscribers all right deliciously oh man deliciously coming up look at this beautiful color in this delicious dish very nice taste uh, 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 uh. lick your finger notice folks the gravy is becoming nice and solid thick can't go wrong with that all right nice and solid thick look at this Check the potato. Potato is boiled, ready to eat deliciously. Now, hey, that's how you cook this delicious blackened chicken, Jim Boy's Kitchen Ways, uh, with all the special ingredients. Try it my way, you will love it. That's 
Black and chicken, folks. Take a good look. Make it my way, you will love it. Uh, man, imagine you get some dal in this bad boy, or you could eat it with roti, you could eat it just like this, even with bread. Uh, try it my way, you'll love it. Uh, thank you for subscribing to my channel, Jim Boy's Kitchen, folks. Delicious. Try it my way, you'll love it, folks. Uh, blackened chicken with some potato. Put all the seasoning, the secret recipe of mine, uh, and you'll enjoy it. Uh, let's try it. It's hot. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm. You could taste all the ingredients, the ketchup, uh, the tomato sauce, um, the soy sauce, uh, the black pepper, the garlic pepper, everything is involved in here, the masala to kick it up, kitsch, uh, kick it up a notch there. And folks, uh, Subscribe once again, Jim Boy's Kitchen. As I say, be kind to someone that's not kind to you, and kindness will prevail. Gotta get a shout out to my girl, the Reshma, also. Um, Jim Boy's Kitchen, make it my way, you will love it. Alright? Black and chicken, folks. Lordy, 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 I can't resist it one more time. Let's try the blackened chicken again. Potato all nicely done. Oh. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Enjoy it, my folks. Until the next scenery or the next dish, Jim by Kitchen saying thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Smash around the notification bell for more uploads, more scenery, more dishes. And of course, got the hello Uncle Babu, Auntie Baby. <laughs> Sav, what's happening? Until the next dish, folks. Make it my way, you'll love it. And I don't know why, but I love Malta. Malta, India it says, but I love all different Malta. It's made with uh, kind of a little sugary, but uh, flavored uh, water and all of that. Pretty good. And when it's cold, you could add some milk inside. Carnation milk. Tastes pretty good. <laughs> like cream soda. Malta, India. It's pretty good. <laughs> I'm not much of an Indian thing, but uh, I love it. <laughs>